Hello, my name's Ray and this is my wife Iris. And we'd like to share our testimony with you today. My wife and I had been married for 20 something years. We had raised our kids. We found success in every area of life. The one area that we couldn't fix and find success in was our own family, our own marriage. When the kids left, I got some brain trauma. And in 2017, it came back worse than before. And basically they were telling me at Loma Linda that there was really no hope that eventually I was gonna go blind and maybe die. I got to a really dark and angry place. My family was really falling apart and so was I. During this time uh, that Ray was going through that, we had gone through a split and I moved out to a Moreno Valley. At that point, I started getting into praying. I knew Ray has always had it in his heart to do what God's will is. Every day I prayed and prayed and then I came across this doctor out in Baltimore um, that treated the condition he had. Um, I was planning actually to go die alone and when I got to Baltimore I was going to confirm that nothing could be done. So there was a subway across from my hotel and I was wanting to grab a sandwich and come back because I had to go through a battery of tests the next day. But when I walked into the subway, Baltimore's a poor city, much like San Bernardino. And there was a family of six kids. They looked like they were barely making it. The kids all had some a half a sandwich and something to drink each, but the oldest one had nothing to eat. And I heard God audibly say, feed my people. And I looked at him and he just looked broken and hungry. So I reached in my wallet and I gave him a $20 bill. And at that moment, I just felt God's love hit me like I had never felt it before. And I went up into my room and I cried myself to sleep and I told God, I just wanna be with you. And that act of giving, I really believe, just broke my heart and opened it up to God. When I walked into my battery of tests, all my tests were normal. When they had just been hopeless, 30 days before. When I got to the neurosurgeon, he basically said, you're healed. When he called me, he actually had a glimmer of hope in his voice. He was just, God had met him there and he gave him hope and Ray had a second chance at life. We just celebrated 30 years of marriage and we've blossomed a vision that God had given me years before I shared with Pastor Marco and that's City Way and that's growing now and we've been able to go to Africa on missions and really just get involved in giving. I actually felt called full time with City Way and left my company of 13 years and just enjoy being here growing closer to God, my wife and our family here at The Way. You know, God really changed my heart, you know, because I look at this man and I'm thankful. I tell him in the mornings, I'm thankful that you're sitting here with me at this table because you could not be here. I, God has really changed our lives. And you know, I, I love coming here to The Way because you know, we give and we see where the money goes. We see all the work that's put in to helping people in the city. And this, it's, it's been uh, on our heart to, to get the city back to what it used to be. Like. If I could say there's one thing I want you to take from my testimony, it'd be that God never leaves us or forsakes us. It wasn't the physical pain that was killing me, it was the heart pain, and God healed both. Hi everyone, I'm Janet. I'm Julia. Oh my goodness, Julia. I love Ray's testimony because Ray is a great example of being a successful businessman out in the world, but having every other area of your life a mess. His marriage was a mess. His spiritual life was a mess. But boy, look at what the Lord has done as soon as he surrendered everything to the Lord. God has restored everything in his life. And now he's again a successful businessman building the kingdom of God, a great husband, a great father, a great builder in the kingdom. So this is exactly what God does, Julia. It's so amazing. That's exactly what Proverbs 3 says. In verse 8, it says, Glorify God with all your wealth, honoring Him with your very best, with every increase that comes your way. Then every dimension of your life will overflow with blessings from an uncontainable source of joy. That's exactly what happened in Ray's life. I know, and it's so wonderful to see that 
The Lord takes us exactly where we are and he takes us to even greater places that we could ever imagine. So today is actually an incredible day. It's Impartation Sunday. So tell us, there's a couple of special things we're doing today. So Julian, what's the first thing? Today we're giving in our goal cards. And if you'll hold on to those to the end of service, we have a special time we'll be handing those in. And pastor is going to pray for those so that all of our goals that God has placed in our hearts will be fulfilled. Another thing, which is one of my favorite things in the year, is we're bringing our first fruit offerings. Really, I mean, I cannot wait to be able to give my first fruit because I know God is going to bless that first fruit for the rest of the year. But also hold on to it till the end. There's gonna be a special prayer time for that because right now we are receiving our regular tithes and offerings. And there's three ways that you can give. What's the first way, Julia? The first way is always the easiest way. Just hop right on the app and give there. The second way is you can go on any browser, on your computer, on your mobile phone and type in the way dot gives with an S and you'll find a secure way to give as well. And the third way is you can come right here to Hallmark Campus Monday through Friday until 5 p.m. and we'll receive it right there in person or give right now. Hop into the aisles and find a kiosk and give that way. So now we're going to invite our worship team to come and worship as we give with a joyful heart. <laughs> 